Hey everyone, welcome back to the Cloud Pilot. Today, I'll walk you through my journey of passing Google Cloud Professional Cloud DevOps Engineer Certification Exam, the strategies I used and the resources that proved invaluable. If you're pursuing a career in tech or cloud computing, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss my latest content. And let's dive in. First things first, let's discuss what the Professional Cloud DevOps Engineer Exam is all about. The certification assesses your skills in various domains, including applying site reliability engineering principles, optimizing service performance, implementing monitoring strategies, building CI-CD pipelines, and managing service incidents. The exam cost is $200 and it has a duration of again two hours you will have 50 questions to answer. It's not a walk in the park, but with the right approach, you can conquer it. Before we delve into the nitty gritty of my preparation, let me give you a bit of context. I spent the past two years immersed in Google Cloud Services and I held the role of a cloud infrastructure and DevOps engineer. And this hands-on experience was a key factor in helping me understand the material deeply and particularly when it comes to the security considerations. Now let's talk about the strategies I employed to prepare for the exam. It was a three month journey and uh, here is how I tackled it. First point is familiarizing yourself and we can start by visiting Google Cloud's professional DevOps engineer page, which will give you an overview of the exam and what is required. And then you can dive into the exam guide to get a comprehensive understanding of the exam's content and structure so that you can easily identify which are the topics that you need to specifically focus on. Explore Google Cloud's official documentation to grasp each GCP service in detail. But remember, hands-on experience is crucial. The day of the exam arrived and I felt well prepared thanks to my thorough preparation. The exam focused heavily on Google Kubernetes engine SRE best practices, incident management, and CICD pipelines. Some questions were challenging and I had to carefully consider my answers. One highlight was the emphasis on cloud operations tool stack, which includes cloud monitoring, logging, alerting, debugging, and profiling. The exam also had a good overlap with the cloud developer exam, but it definitely put my skills into the test. Now let's dive into the resources that made a significant impact on my success. Satish Vijay's awesome GCP certification repo, Ivam Luz GCP checklist, which helped me learn concepts topic wise, and of course, Google Cloud's documentation, and then Ahmed Williams' prep sheet, which also helped me boost my learning journey. Google's SRE book and workbook, as well as their SRE DevOps playlist on YouTube, has also helped me gain a lot of knowledge. And you can also practice through Google's practice questions on the certification page. And there is a course on Cloud DevOps Engineer on Coursera. So the results, shortly after completing the exam, I received the wonderful news that I had passed. A few days later, I received my Google Cloud Professional Cloud DevOps Engineer Certificate. And here is my certificate. That's a wrap on my journey to becoming a Google Cloud Professional Cloud DevOps Engineer. And remember, success in technical certifications require a dedication, hands-on experience, and a solid study plan. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow aspiring DevOps engineers. And make sure you subscribe for more insightful content. Thank you so much for watching this. Until next time, keep exploring the clouds and pushing your boundaries. This is the Cloud Pilot signing off.